this week, Bougainville, the main agenda as the former Bougainville Revolution Army commander was sworn into the House of Representatives as president. The diplomatic corps, including China, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, India and Indonesia in Buka to witness the president swearing in. During and after the crisis, the international community playing key roles. While Australia trained PNG troops, the New Zealand led the Peace Corp. Going forward for Bougainville, President Torama is setting the past aside and welcoming all. The international community, especially Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Solomon Islands, Fiji, Vanuatu and the United Nations have been a tremendous value to Bougainville in, pac in pacifying the conflict as in helping to rebuild Bougainville. Under my leadership, Bougainville will continue to work with you so that we reach new heights in our areas of mutual interest. The door will be open to any members of the international community in general that is interest in helping Bougainville take its place in the international arena. But there will be no closer partner than PNG in the Solomon Islands, President Torama stating that during his inaugural speech. The PNG government, Mr. Speaker, to the PNG government. You have caused us immense pain and suffering, but you have helped us in restoring our lives. You are helping us to rebuild our government systems and institutions. We have reconciled, buried our differences as true Melanesian people. However, a lot of needs, a lot more needs to be done in helping our Bougainville people in life to, com to make their lives comfortable. For the Solomons, they lost their own also during the crisis and after when restrictions were put in place, cutting off Bougainville from the rest of the world. Speaker, the government and the people of Solomon Islands deserve a special mention. You have said our times of need and you, you have a suffered in this course of it. But most importantly, you were the launching pad for peace process. And I, as the new president of Bougainville, accord you my sincere appreciation and look forward to a continued and renewed relationship. Veteran journalist John Higgins, who covered the crisis and peace process, seeing Bougainville closely attached with PNG, even after independence. But we never left Australia. We're still linked to them in whatever. They began by, you know, supporting us with budgetary aid, then tide aid, and then whatever aid and whatever assistance they could give. Should Bougainville become independent? They might try to go to Japan, they might go to try to go to the Solomon Islands, they might try and be link up to New Zealand and Australia even, but they will still feel that, feel obligated to Papua New Guinea and we likewise will try to, will feel obliged to reciprocate that as well. So that link will always be there and I think whether Bougainville becomes independent or not, we will always have that link, it will always be there. Because right now, Bougainvilleans are, are married into Papua New Guinea and vice versa and likewise. So that is not likely to be watered down as uh, two separate countries, no way. But in terms of resource and as a country developing and going forward, it will want to look at other countries to see if they can get a better deal, if their arrangement can be better worked out than between us and them, that kind of thing. Prime Minister James Marpe, who had brought the diplomatic corps along with him as part of his delegation to Buka this week, welcoming them to set up missions in Bougainville. His welcome coming along with the announcement that the PNG government would hand over diplomatic powers to ABG to allow them to engage with whichever country they see fit to partner with. We will also assist and we will not stand in the way of our foreign missions who operate in Port Mosby to have the development offices in Buka so that they too, if they want to assist, they could be welcome to assist in the restoration effort 
in Bougainville. Is that okay? You blah like in this law, you blah less. So me me talking about penis now looks away, but I'm blah go back tidy. Now all two in a government office blow, also Martin Australia stop penis, New Zealand stop penis, some blah like some stop more can come, or can help, long walk, or help him you me reconstruction, reconstruction, or rebuild him. This blah. Think they blame me or make it Bougainville ready now or go on the next phase of Bougainville's life. The diplomatic call there to begin relations with Torama as the talks begin on the way forward to independence. As it is now, no longer a doubt of if Arab will be a new country, but the question is when. It's not autonomous Bougainville government anymore. It should be uh, Bougainville uh, 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 independence transitional government, uh, some sort of a name. That's what happened because we are and we have entered the post period. That is why my concern was um, into the post period plus uh, the money that they should give the drawdown of powers with uh, with, with uh, the drawdown. I mean, economically, uh, people of Bougainville can meaningfully participate into growing our own economy. Towards them delivering in terms of the economic potentials, harvesting from that, restructuring the public service, transplanting law and justice sector back into the island and make all these little things that will uh, make the island come back to life before we went into even discussing on the independence issues. Since Tuesday this week, it has come clear on some of the agendas for the JSB. Bougainville Copper Mine Limited shares transfers, fiscal powers, outstanding restoration grants, public service powers, and the most important when the region will be politically independent and break away from mainland PNG. And two hands to work with you and to hear from you. And some commitments I made, I look forward to the first JSB after this fourth parliament is stitched together and President Roma your first cabinet is installed. I look forward to the first JSB we will sit to plan out what is the next phase of life after referendum, life after swearing in of the first government after referendum, and how we should work into the future so that we take our people with us and not leaving them behind. So uh, we'll prepare ourselves uh, instead of just going rushing towards and then meeting, but we'll prepare. As soon as we prepare, we have this consultation with the Prime Minister and uh, yes. But what's also new in the public arena but has been lingering whenever the topic of Bougainville is brought up is that the Panguna mine, the centre of the crisis that led to the loss of 20,000 Bougainvillean lives and PNG soldiers, may be reopened to assist the autonomous region become economically independent. Torama stating the people will decide if that was to take place. Under my government, we will have significant target plan for growing our economy. Panguna mine will be a key target, but we will not put all our eggs in one basket. My government has a number of specific large to medium projects, ideas in mining, agriculture, fisheries, fisheries and tourism, that will create employment and generate revenue for Bougainville. Timing on when our people is ready and uh, timing to economically recover Bougainville. Uh, we got a lot of issues, agendas to be fulfilled first before the actual time is timing in his, his place. But the real time to economically recover Bougainville is now, not tomorrow. The Aurora member and Minister for Education, Theonella Mottbob, stating before Panguna Mine should be opened, other aspects of life in Bougainville and its constituents around the copper mines should be considered. Talk about the real roots of the mining issue because there, there are stakeholders and these stakeholders are well informed and they know what should be done and what is the rightful thing in order so that social justice can really be felt, be sensed by the people. So in that way, people can be relieved in preparation for a new nation because, I mean, we can be given the shares, yes. They can be drawn, given down to, the, to ABG, but when the communities are not settled, how is harmony going to be guaranteed and that economic prosperity will be ensured? 
Meanwhile, Prime Minister James Marape also stating he himself faced issues with the Bougainvilleans in Port Moresby on the issue of Panguna. The Prime Minister now stating the decision was in their hands on what they wanted to do. Now, Mr. Tovimo, let me walk with me. You go back to the government bill of Bougainville. Government bill of Bougainville, but deal with the resource of Bougainville. You know, government will mostly but deal with the resource of Bougainville. So, me like talk to Sawel and all, some little brother with me, with all one school or all senior long, give me long time for independent coming up now. You stop well or help him solve him, it's like crisis for Bougainville. Now something for Panguna go back. Now you're not going to ask me to keep him back. Long what must be stop and we him go back. Long people here. Long, come. President Tarama confident and ready to build a nation of its own. Mr. Speaker, to the people of Bougainville, we have finally given an unshakable number to the long hair dream of our forefathers, our leaders who have gone before us. We owe it. We owe it to Sir Paul Apun, Sir Donatus Mola, Dr. Alexis Sare, Anthony Anogu, Joseph Kabui, Francis Ona, Leo Hannett, Moses Haveni, and many others who at different times of our history added to the foundations of our journey. My government will need your continued support and patience as we work the journey of securing Bougainville's sovereignty.